Good morning, y'all. So, Sabrina, and I'm back with another video. And yeah, today is day one, my day one of um, pre planning and my first day of work. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm in my car and I'm about to head to work. So, I will, I'll probably see y'all when I get settled in because I gotta get things situated. So, yeah, I will see you all then. So my car is filled up like all these boxes and stuff and it's stuff in my trunk and in my boyfriend's car but he's not coming until like lunchtime so yes um I'm scared like I don't know anybody here except the principal sister principal and the reading coach because I've been texting her um for the past week but yeah i'm nervous so if any of my future my co-workers see this in the future yeah i'm scared <laughs> ah. oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it i'm just waiting i gotta do the um screening on my phone um and then i have to wait gotta see who's able to take my temperature and then i just gotta wait on admin or somebody to get me ready get me set so y'all i guess i'll be back when i get my classroom mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna do a quick 360 here is everything i've just brought everything out of my car and yo yeah, oh, okay there i have i have seen some creepy crawlers there was someone my principal brought them down here but for the most part here is the classroom and I have a restroom inside. Great. Ugh. Ugh. Can I see a book? Okay, awesome. And then look, y'all. Look at all this. Look at everything I need to organize. Wow. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I'm gonna jump about to just focus on cleaning this out. And yeah. Okay, so it is now 3.43. Oh, my hair. I don't even want to touch my hair because my hands are dirty. But I've been here all day and it feels like I have got nothing accomplished. I'm going to show you all what I've done so far. Okay, so I, caught, I, didn't, I haven't done this part. But everything here I have organized to my liking. Um... I can't really just do what I want to do, but I just tried to organize things the best that I could. This side is also more organized. Um, these are all the big books, and then all the math and science stuff is down here. And then all of this is like reading and phonics stuff. So that's that. 
these are going to be their cubbies i guess um this is where their belongings are going to go and yeah and then i kind of rearranged the desk up um move them so that they can be socially distanced they were already socially distanced but i wanted them to face this way because that's where the board is and so yeah got this and then um i moved all these extra discs over here that i wasn't going to use and then here's all my other stuff these are extra chairs but i don't think they can move anywhere because there's no room in the school for it like the school is small but yeah and then here's our interactive board and y'all i was so upset when i found out these boards are not magnetic like i just i have to change how i was going to do things but yeah and then the computer station is going to be right here i don't like it right here but like the way things are set up in this room i just i don't there's no other way for me to put it but this board back here this is not a whiteboard but um this board is going to be for my word wall so i gotta move all of this stuff out of the way and then here are all of the books now these books all of these books were already in the classroom so right now what i'm doing is i am sorting them and these are like the pile of books that i'm not going to keep so yeah i'm just going through all these books and this is where i'm going to put all the books i'm still trying to decide on how i want to sort them um i know i could do science books about animals um math things of that nature but i'm not completely sure yet but yeah and then these boards right here this is gonna be where I put like my objectives and standards and stuff in these two boards. One is gonna be reading, one is gonna be math. And I'm gonna put my border that I have over there. It's gonna on those two boards. I think I'm gonna put pink over here with the silver board boarding border. And then I'm gonna put blue over here. Or maybe blue over here and then pink over here with the silver boarding i think it will be really cute and yeah okay but yeah so everyone that i've met so far they are nice um i'm not as scared anymore but we did have like a lot of meetings today or we had four sessions and it was a lot of information so i'm just kind of overwhelmed with the information as well as trying to get things in order before Thursday, which is when school starts. So, yeah, um, I still have this stuff in here. And it, it's just a lot, but, and then on top of that, on top of that, my grad school classes started today. So when I leave here, I need to go work on my classes and I don't know how that's gonna be. But all of my classes are online. One is remote, so we have we meet on Thursdays on Zoom. So yeah, got I have to do that. But yeah, I don't plan on leaving here until they kick me out, which will probably be six. And right now it is three fifty. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can, and I will update you all before I leave. Okay, so it is five twenty one, and they told me I. Have to leave at 5 30 instead of 6 so let me just give you all a recap of what i've what i have accomplished so far okay so i sorted all the books i didn't sort them but i took all the books out of the bins and got the ones that i didn't well took the ones i didn't want out and then i put these down i'm not gonna buy new book bins if there's already some here so i did this Hopefully, I got to figure out how I'm going to categorize it, the books. But I have all the books out. Um, I just wanted to put this up here to see how it would look. It's, um, I have to secure it tomorrow. But yes, got that. 
then I started putting up the alphabet, but I feel like it's not gonna be enough room, so I need to start from the very end because these are I use like a whole sheet of letter size paper. So I'm gonna just have to take those off or move them over. And yeah, and these are all the books that I did not want. This is a trash, and then here is the birthday thing. So I'm gonna write their birthdays down, and then whenever it's their birthday, we can do this. I kind of want to move it, but I wouldn't put it right here. But this mirror is right here. But when it's their birthday, they could just uh, spin it and whatever it lands on. That's what, that's that. And I used this to put those up. They were falling at first. But hopefully they stick with these. Um, and then like I told you all before, um, I spaced out the desk. So this is what it is looking like, a socially distanced classroom. It'll look better once everything is off the desk. But these are just the books that um, I got today. And then I put these desks over here, these desks in... Um, chairs because um another teacher told me that they may not come and get these because there's not enough room so yeah i just put them in this corner because nothing is in that cubby over there and all of that i don't know i haven't even looked through that yet but i feel like this easel right here is going to go over there in that area and then i need to find somewhere to put this little bookshelf yeah, I gotta find somewhere to put it because this will be my word wall. So, yeah, this is what we are looking like at the end of day one. Okay, so I'm about to head out now and hopefully the traffic's not bad because I took the highway to get here. But I'm gonna go home, fresh it up and do my work for my classes look and see what i need to do for my graduate classes so i will see you all later okay so i'm back and i got a package first day jitters so i got it today it was a day late but i got it and then I thought, like, maybe I should have gotten something that's more COVID relevant in dealing with the first day of school, even though, I mean, no one has really experienced that yet. I do plan on reading maybe a few stories about COVID on the first day, but I wanted something that pertained more to the first day of school in COVID, if you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, but y'all. I am so tired like I, I want to take a nap I'm going to take a nap okay I'm going to take a nap but I'm about to take a shower um I need to do this so that I can get used to just going straight to the shower I didn't go straight to the shower because I was so hungry like all I had for lunch was a salad and I was trying to eat right since I trashed all of last week and y'all Look, I didn't even drink my smoothie today. Like, if y'all can see right here is where it stops. Like, I didn't drink it. I, I was kind of scared to drink in the building. Like, I'm, I'm even scared. Like, COVID germs in the air. But, hey, if it's in the air, if it was in the air, then. But I was so scared to drink it. But yeah, so I'm about to take a shower. I'm going to take maybe a 30 or 45 minute nap. And then I'm going to hit, hit the books. <laughs> okay, and I will be back to tell you all how that goes. Hey y'all, Um, so it's day two of my classroom setup. And I did not record how I wanted to because I wanted to, I'm, I'm crunching for time, you know. So... I'm just moving the camera all about here and there. That was going to be too much time taken away from me actually. From me actually. 
Oh my God, for me actually setting up. So I'm just gonna show you all everything that I have done so far. Okay, so books are not sorted. I did get a little help um, and she kind of started sorting it, but the books at the top is what I have left, plus this box. Um, so I set up my bulletin boards. This is for reading, math, and then this my this is gonna be my data configuration board. Or my no, my configuration board. I, I forgot what it's called. But basically, it's gonna have the standards, the I can statements, the essential questions, and the checks for understanding. I think so. That's there. I don't remember if I showed you all this, but I put this up, and I need to write the birthdays on there and then whenever their birthday comes we'll just fill that out and i found out that one of my students birthday is the day after mine so i'm gonna give her that fun fact on the first day all right here is the mirror that was already here oh this is my outfit for today but this is the mirror that was already here and since it was here i kind of wanted to do this already but this is my affirmation but well, it's gonna be it's the affirmations and like when they come in they could say one of them and i i need to write more maybe yeah but here is the trash all my trash and then all of my desk i need to put the name plates on there and um yeah i already put the two books that i got for them i already put those in there and then here's my transportation wall um and i'm going to get some um clothes pins and write their name on it and then whatever they are is going on the respective whatever so yeah got that and i just put this up I don't really like it. I think I'm going to buy a new one. Go get a new one. But yeah, this is the calendar. And I know it's not centered. Whatever. That's the calendar. And then here are all of the alphabets. I put up. Oh my gosh. Oh. And I need to find a number line to put at the top. 1 through 20. And then I finally got some help with my board today. And yeah. And then... Here's this board. I think this is going to be my data board. And then here's my computer station. But I only have one computer working because the other one doesn't have a keyboard. So that's that. And then I have my word wall. I did not want a black background. Like I wanted something, a color that wasn't there. But the other, other, the other color um was orange so i didn't know how that was gonna look but maybe i don't know because i had this silver boarding and y'all i could not find my silver boarding to save my life because that's what i was going to use this border for this one and these two bulletin boards but you know that boarding border it still looks cute with those colors so i'm not even sweating it but yeah this is cute as well um i forgot her name oh my gosh when i found out her name well one of my um co-workers she works with pre-k no not pre-k kindergarten she um helps the teacher in there but she came and asked me if i needed help and i was like oh my gosh if you could help me with my word wall that would be awesome her and my neighbor teacher they put it up for me while i was trying to do a million other things so let me tell y'all i was so busy like i didn't even know i didn't have time but they came and helped me and look looks so good i did not want to put words up until like we actually went over the word but she was like they want to see words up so i was like okay so they did that and then here's this bookshelf i'm not really um i'm not really a fan of it i just put that stuff down there and then I'm gonna have a way to disinfect it after they use it so and that stuff is just there and then here these are gonna be their cubbies I got 12 of them cleared out but but I only have nine or ten students so 12 is enough and I need to um I'm gonna bring some stuff to dust it out you probably can't see it. 
but I'm gonna dust it out tomorrow so that it's that it's clean for them. I need to put their names in it. Hmm. I think I should put their names in it. But do that. And then I was able to clear off this desk. This is gonna be my little desk. I thought the principal said um we couldn't have these in our room, but I don't know. I don't know. I just need to look over some things. Oh, and hold on. I forgot to show y'all. This is going to be like my little cool down corner. I need to print out the rest of the posters. But we have something. Uh, we're using. We're doing something called Calm Classroom. And this is one of the posters. So, yeah. Got that up in the calm down corner. And yeah. And I. Some of the things I have in here is this ball. So stress ball or whatever so then the squeeze and then i also have these cards with different activities i need to take the ones out that they can't do i'm gonna take those out but i have those i have this five minute timer and i put some of this at the bottom so that it sticks because i accidentally knocked one over and then i have a two minute timer that's that and then i just put these bins up here because didn't know where to put them and then my pencil sharpener and this and my things don't use make don't make me use my teacher voice and then here's my phone okay i'm not gonna show y'all my my whatever but yeah i really i thought i was gonna have a desk desk but i don't so yeah and then i have all of this i'm not even about to worry about this right now and then this box is empty. And then I have, I need to put this cart together and this cart together. Okay, okay so that's, it's all I have for now. Um, it is 4.53, I finished way ahead of time. I'm just, tomorrow, I'm just gonna work on putting those carts together and then I'm supposed to be meeting with my team member to um see what we're doing for the first couple of days of school um and then tonight i'm meeting with the um reading coach and she's gonna guide me through the curriculum guides and how to use that and everything so yeah and yet yesterday i was supposed to uh show y'all what i do or show, vlog my graduate classes but y'all my 45 minute nap turned into five hours so, um, so yeah that's that but yeah i'm about to go get some coffee and get myself together and i will be back later okay y'all so it is 6 56 i am about to head out and head to school y'all i am so nervous like even though i have first graders I so nervous like i don't i don't know how what's gonna happen i only have 10 students i'm not even sure if all 10 are gonna show up but yes i'm about to go i don't know if they're gonna open the school up a little earlier today um uh, i hope they do because i have so much to do this morning before the kids come in so let's see what happens Okay, so I'm at school now, and I think I can go in early, so I'm about to get my stuff and go in. I got to do the um, online check-in where they ask the pre-screening questions, and then I can go in. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have things set up. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. I finished my bulletin board this morning, and it is 7.58, and I think they start coming in at 8.30. So, let's see. Hey y'all, so today is Friday. It is my watch, not my watch. My clock in my car says it's 419. And y'all, I just completed my first week of teaching. Like, even though school started on the Thursday, I, I, fin I, just, I just finished my first week, y'all. It was stressful not even gonna lie it was stressful and today y'all i just really winged it because i just didn't know what to do today because i don't know i don't know but 
It has been very hectic. Like, y'all, I started my grad school classes started on Monday, and I started my first day of work. And the first day of school was also the same week. So I only had three days to prepare my classroom, which turned out pretty nicely, given it was only three days. And I will be um, giving the tour soon. But this week wasn't bad. And I only had four students. I was supposed to have ten. I contacted parents today during my lunch break to see like what was going on, get an update. And I was able to reach four parents, and they said their child will be at school on Monday so they'll bring me up to eight the other two I'm not so sure about but that's that and y'all if my children if my kids didn't learn anything else today or this week they didn't learn anything else they learned how to say uh-uh stay six feet for me mm -hmm. okay because you know we had to do COVID lessons about um social distancing and we talked about that and my principal she um made this lesson plan for us to follow on the first day of school and whatnot and i did it and i brought my tape measure i showed them what six feet looks like so yeah it went it, that went pretty nicely and um yeah this week it was it was stressful but it was good like i love my kids already they say they love being in first grade which made me happy it makes me so happy and i just i can't wait to see what this year brings um i apologize for not vlogging as much as i was wanted to um i i know i suck at vlogging but my thing was i was kind of on a time crunch like trying to get as much done fit eight days worth of work into three so yeah that was stressful and y'all i forgot well, i didn't even submit one of my discussion posts like i was supposed to for one of my classes and my instructor she emailed me or sent me a message and saying just a reminder that um i had a discussion post and i hadn't posted even though it was already due but i was like oh my god y'all this was just this is a mess but i'm not gonna keep rambling i'm not gonna keep you guys I am in the drive through of Zaxby's because I'm about to pick up a snack before it rains because it's just been raining so much here. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, like I said, that classroom tour will be coming because I feel like my classroom is so cute and it smells good because I put a plug in it. <laughs> yeah, but thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.